Hello, this is Max. This story is about how a guy saved and taught a lowly eaglet to fly. Don't forget to subscribe. The film tells the story of a middle-aged man named Danzer, a forester in the Alps who cares for wildlife in the mountains. Danzer narrates a tale about a brave eagle and its companion. In the 1960s, in an unspecified location in the Alps, a pair of eagles have two hatching eggs. These parent eagles, considered the king and queen of their species, have offspring who are next in line for the throne. However, as only one can become the successor, the brothers become rivals from birth. Tragedy strikes when the father eagle, the strongest among them, is attacked and killed while defending the family from enemies. Left alone, the mother eagle takes on the responsibility of raising her sons. Meanwhile, in another part of the mountains, Danzer discovers the body of the father eagle. Shortly after, he encounters a hunter named Keller and his son Lucas, who live in a small house in the mountains. The relationship between Keller and Lucas is strained, with the young boy remaining silent since the death of his mother. Lucas deeply misses his mother, but his father fails to understand his emotions and provide him with the love he needs. Seeking solace, Lucas visits the remains of their old house where they were once a happy family, finding comfort in looking at old pictures of their past. With the absence of their father, the mother eagle takes on the responsibility of raising the successor among her two sons. However, as they grow older, the brothers engage in frequent fights, and the older brother usually emerges as the victor. During one intense fight, the younger brother tumbles off a cliff and lands below injured and unable to fly. He cries out for help when their mother returns, but she ignores his pleas as she can only raise and protect one offspring in the absence of their father. The youngest eagle fights against ants and wild foxes to survive the night, but it becomes clear that he cannot sustain himself for long. In a fortunate turn of events, Lucas discovers the injured eagle and brings him to his secret hideout in his old home. Lucas, lacking knowledge on bird care, does his best to tend to the creature. He creates a nest by cutting a pillow in half and tries feeding the eagle bread, realizing it won't suffice. Lucas keeps the bird warm with his vest and sneaks food from his father's lunch to feed the eagle. Delighted when the eagle finally eats the stolen sausage, Lucas and the eagle form a strong bond. Witnessing their playful interactions, Danzer decides to assist Lucas in training the bird. Lucas collects hay and builds a nest for his feathered friend while Danzer advises him on appropriate eagle nutrition. Instead of sausages and worms, Danzer provides duck liver, which the bird happily consumes. Danzer also encourages Lucas to bring the eagle outside for sunlight, aiding in the growth of its feathers. However, Lucas faces challenges with his father, Keller, who becomes frustrated with Lucas' lack of communication and forces him to work harder, restricting his outdoor activities. One night, a fox intrudes on Keller's farm and kills the hands, leading to Keller's anger towards Lucas for leaving the farm door open. Despite the scolding, Lucas manages to bring one of the hens to feed Abel, the name he has given to the eagle. Lucas protects Abel from attacking foxes and spends the night playing with him, while caring for Abel, Lucas learns the story of Cain and Abel from his family's Bible, resonating with the eagle's tale. Meanwhile, Abel's brother, Cain, undergoes training with their mother to rule the mountains. Lucas attempts to teach Abel to fly but struggles due to his limited knowledge. During a training session, Danzer arrives and invites Lucas to live with him during the summer, offering to teach him how to train Abel. With Keller's permission, Lucas accepts the opportunity. Upon reaching the forester's cabin, Lucas notices a portrait of a young boy and an eagle that strikingly resembles himself and Abel. In an effort to teach Abel how to hunt, Lucas catches a fish and offers it to him, but Abel lets it slip away. Eventually, both Abel and Cain grow their new pair of wings, and while Cain learns to fly with their mother's guidance, Lucas persists in training Abel he hangs Abel in a nest-like bucket from the roof, and after initial failures, the bird begins soaring in the air. That night, Lucas and Abel fall asleep on the roof, but when Lucas wakes up the next morning, Abel is gone. Lucas grows worried and searches for Abel, 
eventually spotting him perched on a rock. However, as Lucas tries to reach him, Abel flies away. Lucas believes that his beloved companion will never return now that he has learned to fly, keeping a feather he found as a memento. Danzer tries to comfort Lucas, but even he is uncertain if the bird will ever come back. Meanwhile, in the wilderness, Abel attempts to hunt a chamois but ends up getting injured in the process. Despite his efforts, he fails to catch his prey. Life becomes challenging for Abel as he must evade Keller's shotgun and his own brother, who has become a skilled hunter. For several days, Lucas tirelessly searches for Abel, refusing to give up. Just as he is about to lose hope, the bird finally returns. This experience teaches Lucas the importance of never losing hope, and he places Abel's feather on a shrine made of stones before returning home with him. Following their reunion, Danzer offers to help Lucas in teaching Abel how to hunt. While preparing for the training, Keller approaches them and Lucas flees upon seeing his father. Keller expresses his dissatisfaction with Danzer's methods and reminds him that Lucas is his child. However, in the end, Dancer and Lucas continue their training with Abel. Despite initial challenges, they persevere, and Abel gradually becomes a skilled hunter with their makeshift methods. After a few failed attempts, the intelligent bird finally grasps the techniques and achieves its first successful kill. Although their training progresses well, Dancer informs Lucas that eventually, Abel will have to return to the wild since he is a wild animal at heart. A few days later, Lucas and Danzer take Abel to the highest part of the mountain. Lucas bids a heartfelt farewell to Abel and attaches a small bracelet to his feet as a keepsake. Eventually, the bird takes flight and departs. As winter arrives, Abel faces even greater challenges. The snow and harsh weather make hunting rabbits nearly impossible. However, after persistent struggle, Abel manages to drown an animal in the river to secure a meal. Over time, he continues to learn and adapt, becoming self-sufficient in hunting. Meanwhile, Lucas remains deeply attached to his feathered friend and thinks of Abel every day. He continues to show compassion for wildlife by removing the bear traps his father sets out. One day, while visiting the shrine he made with Abel's feather, Lucas falls asleep in the snow, reminiscing about their bond. Upon awakening, he finds a wolf nearby causing him to panic and accidentally step into one of his father's bear traps. Lucas's screams catch the attention of Danzer, who happens to be nearby. Danzer frightens the wolf away with his rifle and helps free Lucas from the trap. Meanwhile, Abel reaches his birthplace and reunites with his brother, Cain, who has grown into an impressive bird. Tension remains between the brothers as they hunt together and compete for food. Danzer shares the story of the Brothers of the Wind with Lucas, drawing parallels to the tale of Cain and Abel. Lucas is eager to know the ending, but Danzer suggests that even with that knowledge, the outcome remains uncertain. During one of Danzer's expeditions, he witnesses the Eagle Brothers peacefully perched together on a branch. On the other hand, Lucas decides to leave his father and venture to the other side of the mountain, seeking a solitary life. Just as he prepares to depart from the old house, Keller finds him and asks him to light a match. In a flashback, it is revealed that Lucas accidentally caused a fire that resulted in his mother's death. When Keller lights the match, Lucas flees and escapes into the mountains. Concerned for his son's safety, Keller follows after him. Lucas, climbing a mountain, is caught in a rock slide and is struck by lightning, rendering him unconscious. Abel appears beside him and flies above him. After some time, Keller discovers his son and apologizes for his past treatment. Lucas, speaking for the first time to his father, utters Abel's name. As they leave the area, a dead eagle lies under a nearby rock. Years pass, and Lucas and Keller have repaired their relationship. They climb the snowy mountain together, carrying wood to light a fire. Lucas expresses his belief that Abel is still alive, unable to let go of the hope of his return. However, Keller disagrees, stating that the dead eagle they encountered was Abel's brother, Cain. Keller tries to convey to Lucas the importance of letting go of false hope. 
In a surprising turn of events, something catches Keller's attention, causing him to stop talking and ask Lucas to stretch out his arm. Confused but willing, Lucas extends his arm and is astonished when Abel appears and perches on it. The eagle that was presumed dead turns out to be Cain. Lucas is overjoyed, but he realizes that it is time to bid a final farewell to his friend. He removes the bracelet he had placed on Abel's foot long ago and sets him free. Moments later, Abel soars into the sky. In the final scene, Abel is shown in a nest with a female eagle, awaiting the arrival of their new hatchling, symbolizing the cycle of life and the continuation of their legacy. If you are interested in such films, please proceed to the next video on the screen and also share your thoughts about this film in the comments. Give us a like and subscribe. Goodbye.